Hey guys, and welcome back to Programming Done Right. Okay, so today we're going to be building a question and answer game that answers any question in the world. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up a new file and we want to, um, we want to actually, actually no, we want to, what is it? Open up Google because Google is going to be a big help to us today. Today we're going to be using the Wolfram Alpha Assistant and Wolfram Alpha is amazing, except it's a little bit complex to download, but it's okay. We can do it. So first thing you want to do is go to wolframalpha.com. I'm just going to move myself real quick and you want to uh, make an account. Okay. And then after you've done that, you want to click on your account. You want to sign in and you want to press my apps API. And then what you want to do is you want to write get an app ID, application name, worry. Okay, and then you just want to write description. You don't really need to, but I'm just going to put, okay, right, tutorial, tutorial, get app ID. Okay, app ID, copy this, and you are done. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to pip install Wolfram Alpha. So it's not too hard, but um, I've already done that. So I'm just going to show you guys what the next thing you have to do is. Okay. So once you've done that, um, I'm just, you want to pip install Wolfram Alpha. So how do we do that? Well, I'll just show you real quick. So yeah, um, this is what you want to do. You want to, I'm importing Wolfram Alpha, but in your, in your command prompt or whatever you guys use to pip install stuff, you want to say pip install Wolfram Alpha like so. And then you want to import Wolfram Alpha. Next thing you want to do is you want to say question equals input. What is your question? Question mark. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to do app underscore ID equals. Um, let's find where it was. Uh, let's take a second. Okay. So you want to go back to your to, uh, to your Wolfram Alpha. You want to write edit and you want to grab your app ID again. Okay. Oh, sorry. So you want to have to copy your app ID and then you just want to write it in quotes and boom, that's your app ID. Now what you want to do is you just want to initialize this variable client equals, um, Wolfram alpha dot client. And then you just want to, oh, no, client has to be uppercase, clients. And then you want to write app ID. Now, you could also just, like, put the actual app ID here. I just think it's a little more organized to do it this way. Okay. And then you just want to write res equals um, client dot query. And then you want to write question. And actually... Funny story, the first time I tried to do this, um, I spelled query wrong. I thought it was a double R and um, I kept getting so frustrated because um, I just kept getting really frustrated because it wouldn't work. But then I realized what I did wrong. Results dot hex. Okay, let's explain all this code because I know it went super fast and super quick. Okay. So the first thing we're doing is we're importing Wolfram Alpha, which is a really nice uh, command that will go and it's kind of like Googling an answer and it'll get you the answer, okay? So you're gonna ask the user what your question is. And actually we should probably initialize this first just to make things a little less messy. Right. So we're gonna put this app ID, which we need, um, which Wolfram Alpha needs when you're using its API, okay? And remember, we went over how to make a, an app ID, how to make a new uh, API and things like that. So once you've done that, you want your app ID and then you're going to ask what your question is. OK, and then we're going to initialize this variable client and we're going to use app ID, which we initialized here. And then we're going to put in a variable res client dot query question. So we're going to ask Wolfram Alpha the question and then we're going to get the answer in res. And then we're going to say answer equals next.res.results.text. And we should be good to go. And I'm going to be, and by the way, you guys cannot use my, um, my uh, app ID. Because even if you try, which, because you're not supposed to. And even if you try, it won't work because I'm going to delete it after this, um, after this tutorial. So 
question and answer team. Okay, let's try this out. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go and run this file. We run this file. Um, okay, yeah. Once we've run this file, we just want to write plus. Huh. There's a really. You know what we forgot to do? We forgot to print the answer. We did all of this work, but then we forgot to print the answer. So you want to write print answer. Okay, let's let's do this one last time. Not well, last time. Let's just try it out. Okay. So once we've done that, we want to write 10 plus 10. 20! We did it! This is your this is your thing. You can ask it anything you want, and you have a pretty good question and answer. Do not cheat in math class, but this is a pretty good thing. It's not just a calculator. It can ask, uh, it can finish literature questions, anything you want. Uh, I suggest a quick challenge, asking it the meaning of life. It's a pretty funny response, so I'd recommend trying that out. That's it for this week. Um, let, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Uh, and if you want a voice version of this, uh, let me know in the comments. That's it for this week. Bye. Signing off. Programming done right.